Hi there, my name is Stefan Maurer. I am managing products at Adam Audio and today it's my pleasure to welcome you to our production hall right here in Berlin, Germany, to introduce to you our latest studio monitor, the all-new T8V. The T8V is part of our budget-friendly T-series, which some of you might already know. Until today, the T-series consisted of two near-filled two-way monitors, the T5V with a 5-inch base mid-range driver and the T7V with a 7-inch base mid-range driver and a subwoofer called T10S, which we just launched last year. The T10S comes with a powerful 10-inch woofer and was especially designed as a low-end extension to the T5V and the T7V. But it's of course also suitable for all other kinds of near-field monitors. Now, what about the T8V? The T8V is a powered two-way near-field monitor equipped with, as the name suggests, an 8-inch base mid-range woofer and an accelerated ribbon tweeter, as you can find in all of Adam Audio's studio monitors. The V in its name refers to vertical, which means that the T8V is designed to be used in a vertical or upright orientation. As you might already know, an increase in woofer driver diameter allows for an extended bass response. That is also true for the T8V, where our engineers have managed to extend the frequency response down to 33 Hz. Pretty spectacular and not that common in this price range. In comparison, the slightly smaller sibling, the T7V, can go as low as 39 Hz. This equals a minor third more bass extension on the T8V, speaking in musical terms. The T8V is therefore very well suited for music that is particularly bass heavy and uses the entire spectrum, such as in a lot of electronic genres like drum and bass, house, ambient, but also in other genres like funk, pop or modern film scoring. But the great thing about the T8V is that it not only goes down that low, but it also does it very accurately. And speaking about going lower, let's look at going louder as well. Even when delivering their max SPL of 118 dB per pair, the T8V surpasses the distortion characteristics that can be typically found in monitors of this price range. From our point of view, this is what makes the T8V so special in this price segment. The electronics of the T8V are the same reliable and robust components that we also use in the T5V and T7V. However, we enhance the electronics for the increased output power. This is a very good thing since the T-Series electronics are super reliable with thousands of these in the market for more than two years now. What else can I tell you about the T8V? Of course, just like the T5V and T7V, it is equipped with our special UART treater, which creates particularly low distortion levels due to its special construction and it's extending up to 25 kHz. What does this mean for you exactly? Well, when a speaker is low in distortion in the high frequency range, it means that your most precious and important tool, your ears, won't get fatigued even after long listening hours. This lack of distortion also allows you to listen or see right into the mix to make trusted decisions. As you can see, the tweeter is embedded in a waveguide. We have taken this waveguide, which was originally designed for our flagship monitors of the S series and distilled it into the T series. The waveguide shapes the dispersion of the tweeter to increase the usable area in your room. The result is a smooth off-axis frequency response, which brings you increased freedom of movement while working on your mix and decreases the room's acoustic influence. Now, let's take a quick look at what's hidden on the back of the T8V. First of all, we see here the circular base reflex port. Its flare has been designed to minimize port noise and compression, potentially caused by air friction and turbulence. There's also an identical counterpart at the end of the tube inside of the cabinet. I would like to take this opportunity to briefly speak about a common argument when it comes to rear ported designs like the T8V. Many believe that it's a disadvantage if the base reflex port is at the rear instead of the front of the cabinet, because a rear port design allegedly does not allow you to put the speakers right up to a wall. In my opinion, this is by no means a problem in the real world. Since first of all, active speakers will likely be spaced a couple of centimeters or inches off the back wall anyways, due to power and signal cables coming in. This gap is already sufficient for the low frequency sound to freely radiate from the base reflex port. 
Secondly, low frequency sound generally distributes in an omnidirectional way, evenly in all directions. So, no worries that the bass portion coming from the reflex port might not arrive at the listening spot because of the port facing backwards. And of course, the speaker is interacting with the environment, which is true for front and rear ported designs. So, the challenges are very similar in both concepts. Now, back to the details of the backplate, which is consistent across all T-Series studio monitors. Here, you can see the high and low frequency switches which allow you to raise or lower the high and low frequencies by 2 dB each. This is intended to adjust the monitor to the conditions of your setup or your sonic preferences. Here, you can see the level control and below the inputs for XLR and RCA. It is important that you set this input switch correctly up or down according to the input of your choice. Well, these were the most important information about the all-new T8V in a quick glance. From our point of view, the T8V provides a clarity, extension and power previously unheard of in this price range. But don't just take my word for it. If you have the chance, give it a listen and compare it with other 8-inch monitors of the same market segment. After all, your ears are your best advisors. Ah, and one more thing. We give up to 5 years of warranty on all our products. And this also applies to the T8V. All you have to do is to register your product on our webpage under My Adam, and you'll have five years of warranty instead of two. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below or get in touch with us on any other medium. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.